confused us. Have you learned more about what those were and that they were not connected to this, correct? So we're still running some of them down. We still keep hearing that people, you know, knew there were some issues with him. None of them came to us. None of them were reported to us. Some of them, as I mentioned last night, cross-pollinated with previous threats um, that turned out to not be uh, credible, and they also turned out not to even be related to this school. Um, there were some that were investigated in mid-November, and it was determined not even to be in the state of Michigan, but originally they thought it was here. So we investigated. Then a letter went out from the school saying there was a threat. It was not incredible because it had nothing to do with this school. And some people have cross-pollinated those two things. There was a threat. Right. The the one in mid November. That's related to the email or the, the post from the school that said you're hearing this. It's unsu unsubstantiated. It's not true. Is that the one that goes back into November? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We were part of that investigation. We determined that it was somebody in a different state and had nothing to do not only with this school district but this state. So that made it. What was it? Uh, there were there were I honestly don't remember the content of the post. Some musings about. I think wanting to shoot up a school or something like that, but again, it had nothing to do with this school. So it made the radar here, it was investigated, got it. Yeah. Because a lot of this stuff on social media is published and the world sees it, and then a lot of people then send it locally. Don't know if you saw it, and then it triggers us to look into it. And it's like, okay, our computer crimes or somebody tracks back, and that has nothing to do with our community or our state or whatever. So we get. You know, a lot of those kinds of things. I mean, just last week, last seven days, we've investigated three text or potential threats to schools here in Oakland County and deemed them all not incredible. All not incredible. In your investigation all night long, you're working with the administration. Was there ever anything related to this particular personal incident that they have learned of? I know no one came to the sheriff's office. So far, we don't, we don't have anything that, you know, was a post or social media or, or that, you know, anybody brought to the attention of anybody that, that, that we're aware of, but we're looking. Again, fact and fiction, did the students see a gun in the backpack yesterday and then call, called that in or alerted someone? To, to we never got a, about a call about the gun until oh, we had calls about the shooting. Okay. So if somebody saw a gun, gosh, I, I sure wish they called if they did. I mean, if that, but we haven't heard that rumor. That's just another thing that she saw the gun that's the the lockdown um, as I understand it began after the shooting started uh, mid November commission a pentagram spray painted here is this something else you guys have investigated as well? yeah that that was unrelated unrelated the deers unrelated all of that yeah there's a lot of unrelated things that are now all being attributed to this which they're not no. uh, I don't know what's but um, you said you reviewed some of the video can you just take us inside what Horrific. I mean, it's gut wrenching. Even as a police officer, where you see terrible, terrible things, this is horrific and cold hearted. Absolutely brutal and cold hearted. He was here or came in? He was at school. He was at school. Yeah. And then it started this. In hallway or classroom? Hallway. And then what did you do? What did you, just, you guys got approached him. Yeah, he was working his way up and down hallways. The deputy, your deputy that got to him, you talked to him? Not personally, Not directly personally. yet, no. Deputies that rushed the tape to the hospital, have you talked to those guys? I talked to the one employee of ours that handled calls coming in that lost a relative in the shooting, but I have not had a chance to make a lot of calls yet. Any other updates on the other Um... Not, no updates other than the, the two are critical, one's extremely critical. Is that a, a boy or a girl? Can you tell? Girl. And I mean, you have made it clear that he's not cooperating with the shooter, but the parents, where are they right now? Do you know? They're not talking to us. Not talking and they're just at home. They've got, apparently, have hired a lawyer. What can you tell about the actual footsteps of the shooter? You said the hallway. So were all the victims gunned down in a hallway uh, or were they in classrooms? Um, 
this is preliminary because I didn't get a chance and nor did our investigator get a chance to see all the video, but everything that I saw, um, the shooting was from the hallway. From the hallway, down the hallway, or into classrooms? In the hallway and sometimes into classrooms. You guys said 12 casings were recovered. Is that still an accurate? There's more than that. that we're going to give a better count once we have a final number this afternoon. Okay. And, and is there Much any, more than that. Okay. And of the victims uh, that, that have been identified, deceased and the ones that are injured, does there seem to be any connection between the students and the shooter? Does not seem to be any connection. And based on what I saw in the video, it appears to be random. Okay. And these, and re these reports that parents are alleging that there were threats and some kids stayed home from school that day. What have you been able to determine about that? Again, none of that came to us in terms of alleged threats and keeping kids home. Um, it may have been some of this, as I mentioned, cross-population with previous threats that were dismissed. Nothing came to us about a credible threat yesterday or, or about kids being held home. But tragically, you know, we've got a lot of very concerned parents all over the place. I mean, I know a number of parents that kept their kids home from other schools. Uh, today, yesterday, we've got deputies in other schools that we've recently got threats. Um, and, and that's another really disheartening thing that after a shooting, there's typically a, a rash of threats against other schools. And no one brought that to you, the sheriff's office, but in talking to the administration, did anyone bring why kids stayed home yesterday to them? I've not heard anything about kids staying home yesterday that was brought to the attention of the school district. And what you were saying on the video was, was awful. You were here describing something very close. <clears throat> yes. Based on the 911 calls, are you able to piece together whether he came from a class and did this, came from lunch and did this, or how it really Well, you can, you can see where he begins on the video. Okay, like where in the school? Can he, you say he, where that is? He came out of a bathroom. Oh, okay. Um, did, was he armed? Did he yes. Did he have a gun exposed yes. and raised? Yes. Okay. Did it appear that he was just firing indiscriminately, or was he looking for specific people? It appeared random. I see. Okay. You don't hide. Shimon can see that. How are you, sir? Thank you for this. You don't see him targeting specific people. Like, you don't have any complaints of whether he was bullied or anything. We on. have no information on the... On the whether he was bullied or why he would do that. But I also would say there is nothing that would justify this. So the why is more, I think, us grasping at how could somebody do this versus justification for doing that. It. It's a big difference. We can't wrap our head around the incredible cold-blooded murder of kids. And so we look for a why. There is no credible, reasonable why. This was an evil act, and it appears to be random. Based on your reviews of the video, does it look like he knew what he was doing with the gun, meaning he had trained and he knew how to fire a gun, or did it appear otherwise? At close range, you don't have to be a marksman. Right. You have no indication that he was practicing or had a range? Like we, have, we have some pictures of a, of a target and the weapon. We don't know as to what amount of practice, if if any, he had with that weapon or proficiency. Again, he's not talking and neither are the parents. But they had it for four days, so, you know, there probably wasn't a whole lot of time to... The weapon that surfaced on the Instagram, there's a photo or Facebook, I think. Is that the weapon that was used? Uh, that's my understanding, yes. There's a video of um, students leaving a classroom and someone knocking on a door identifying themselves as a sheriff's department official. Do you believe that was the shooter? Um, I can't verify if that was the sheriff's office or the perpetrator. We know that he did pull on doors and try to breach doors. Um, we don't have a recording that we have verified as his voice saying he's from the sheriff's office. Um, we have reports about that, but we had over 100 deputies here clearing the school. and So we haven't had a chance, obviously, to talk to anybody and say, does this sound like you? Was this you? What a deputy say, just open the door, bro? That's what's heard on the video. More than likely, no. But in a high-stress situation, sure. they may be like, come on, man, we got to get you out of here. 
trying to be more relatable. Come on, bro, let's get going. We got to get you out of here. I don't know that that was the case. We don't have any audio that we've been able to verify was him. Do you have video of him pulling on doors, or you know that that was done by other students? We know that, um, by witnesses he, you know, was tugging on doors, and we know from physical evidence that he shot through doors. Do you know how many classrooms or doors he may have approached or tried to get into? Well, that's going to be a, a process, um, but it was up and down more than one hallway, so. Do you think the right is this? Is this legit? Is this him? I can't tell you. And, and then when I was the on Instagram social media, photo. can you show him that? <coughs> yeah, the guy. Stand by. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, don't, I actually you don't, don't have the gun. I, his social media that's being reported as his social media. I wanted to ask you if it's uh, been substantiated or verified. Or if you're say this, is this is the photo of the gun, right? That you guys believe is the gun that was used here. Um, it looks like the make and model. I can't tell the caliber. Right. Uh, the weapon used this. was a six hour nine millimeter. That looks like a, a SIG. It looks um, like the, the make. I don't know if it's the model. Right. But this is a photo from his social media or something? It, very probably, no. but I haven't gotten with our detectives on the specificity of, of that. Yeah, just because they, they yeah. caught him in possession yeah. of the firearm. So a picture of it is. We want to verify oh, is this his social media oh, wait, that you've seen? It went black. Oh, yeah. okay. oh, sorry. I haven't seen his social media. You haven't seen it, so you no. can't verify. Can you we've, got, okay. we've got different How people doing different things. Has he been here his entire for all of high school? As I recall, it's been, he's been an Oxford student for about three, three or four years, I think. It was Somebody told me that last night. I'm ballparking In it. Terms of but the, it's more than one or two years. You talked about the writings this morning with us, but I just wanted to follow up to see how many pages is it? Anything you can give they, they just said they had some they had some to. writings and they hadn't even opened them yet because they had just but, recovered them. It was right. three in the morning. Is there any and, sense that there was something going on in his life that would upset him from these writings? We, we don't know until we read them. Okay, so that, they have not been read yet. Well, I don't. They're work. We were working all night. I and we're breaking things out right. So we've got computer crimes is dealing with social media. With we have his phone. Um, been able to get in the so they're they're working all of these different angles. We have other detectives that are working paper and documents. We have our, our forensic crime lab. We have firearms that have to be, you know. So we're, it's all busted out in different things, and at some point it's all gathered together. I haven't seen all the working parts because we got people working everywhere. One specific thing on the social media, has been verified <clears throat> to see you tomorrow, Oxford, is related to him. Has that been reported to you yet? Not to me. They, I mean, again, somebody in the social media site could be looking Sheriff, into that. I just want to ask you about the process and the, the next steps. Here. So <coughs> when do you present your findings to the prosecutors so that they can determine charges of what is... What well, is we're going to give them as much preliminary stuff as soon as we can because, obviously, we'd like to see them charged with at right. least the beginning parts. I mean, we know we've got three dead people, and we know we caught a suspect with a firearm in his possession yeah, loaded. Video and you have so... I think that's a good starting point. I'd like him charged as an adult. Then, you know, we can move forward on the other kinds of things. So and that's, that that'll all be up to the prosecutor once we present a preliminary package. And then, obviously, we're going to have a lot of time to begin to finish the rest of the package that the prosecutor will need in court. Could that happen today? <clears throat> Parts of it. I mean, we're in steady communication. In communication with the prosecutors? Yes. <coughs> well about charging as an adult so far? We, we, we haven't talked about that. That's going to be a, a decision from the prosecutor's office.